Hello my people, thanks for watching. Um, we've got a video today about the unrest in Ogun State due to armed robbery. So just watch the video and after which we'll read the news and um, um, uh, discuss about it. Please and also do not forget to thumbs up for us and also let us know if you appreciate what we are doing to get this video to yourself. So just watch the video my lovelies and see what is happening in Ogun State at the minute. in Ogun State. I'm presently recording the fight that is going on between the communities and the thieves. No one slept overnight. And as I speak presently, they are also coming back. They are also coming back. So we need a state of emergency to be declared in Ogun State. Ogun State does not have a governor. There is no single police force because we do not feel their impact. We have not been sleeping for days. And this has been reported to the police. They didn't be calls. So people are at the mercy of themselves. So we want a state of emergency to be declared in Ogun State. The governor should be removed. While soldiers should be deployed. At least during the period of the lockdown of the COVID-19. It's a serious case. This is happening in broad daylight. This is happening in broad daylight. The police are nowhere to be found, not because they were not taught or they didn't know, but they have refused to show up. And any time, any of, when the criminals were arrested, some of them were arrested this morning by the community and handed over to the police, one of them was boasting that they would soon come back. And truly not quite long, they regrouped. Same day, few hours. This is happening today. This Saturday, please let a state of emergency be declared in Ogun State because we have no security. Ogun indiges call for removal of Governor Abiodun. Indiges of Ogun State are calling for the removal of Governor Dakbo Abiodun following series of armed robbery attack ravaging Ifo Agbado. Ijoko, Sangota, Ijo, and adjoining communities. In a video made available to Daily Post, the people of the area covering Ifo and Ado, Ado Ota local governments wants President Muhammad Buhari to declare a state of emergency in Ogun. Daily Post reported yesterday that 19 suspected courtes who have reportedly resulted to armed robbery since the beginning of COVID-19 lockdown were arrested by the police. But instead of normalcy returning to the areas, the people said they could not sleep overnight as houses were invaded by the robbers. They said the armed robbers do invade in groups to attack the people, alleging that the police have not done enough to nip the crisis in the board. Meanwhile, Governor Abiodu said he is on top of the situation. In a statement made available to Daily Post by the Senior Special Assistant to Abiodu on New Media, Emmanuel Ojo, the governor said, The attention of the Ogun State government have been drawn to the incidences of violence, alleged robberies, and related crimes resurfacing in the state, especially in the Sango Ifo axis. The government has not only moved swiftly into action, the affected towns, including but not limited to Sango, Ijoko, Ifo, amongst others, are currently under substantial security surveillance. The state governor, Prince Dakbo Abiodu, stated this as he disclosed that he had communicated with all relevant agencies and mandated them, especially the state command of the police, to ensure law and order in all the affected areas as well as the entire state. The government had earlier sent to the arrest of some suspects as carried out by the police 
in a connection with the chain of unrest in the affected localities. Initial arrest notwithstanding, the state police command yesterday is not leaving any stone unturned as the command has arrested more suspects and investigations is currently ongoing. Suspects in the custody continue to provide helpful information. The state government wishes to reiterate its commitment to the security of lives and properties. We wish to assure the entire citizens of adequate security and our dedication to the safety of the people and we urge everyone not to panic as the situation is under control. So my um, lovely people, this is um, the news reaching us at the moment. Um, the indigents of um, Ogun State are really crying out here. They believe they don't have a governor as such. They need um, President Muhammad Buhari um, to declare a state of emergency in their own uh, in their city. Um, they believe they don't have a governor. Reason being that um, they've been crying out um, since the beginning of this lockdown that they are not safe and um, nothing has been done. There is no security, no police out there to see, to ensure that the indigents are safe. They've been having series of attacks, armed robberies, and they've not been able to sleep over the night. And um, they believe that um, Governor Abiodun is turning a deaf ear. And um, as a result, they don't even, they don't believe he exists because if he does exist, um, solution would have come um, to this nightmares they've been having. However, um, um, the special advisor to the governor has um, released a statement on behalf of the government, governor, um, Governor Abiodun, stating that um, they have everything in control. Um, indigents should not panic. They are doing everything right to see that um, um, they bring the perpetrators to book. But this is not the case. The indigents of Ogun State, they don't believe that. They want to see actions. They are tired of hearing stories this is what we keep saying they keep giving stories that we are we are on top of it we're on top of it we're working on it but they still are not seeing changes they are not secure they've been uh, 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 um, armed robbers and gangs and what have you have been invading their houses and properties you can imagine even in these times when they don't even have anything governments have not even released any palliatives the little the people have will be robbed of them will be taken of them it's really really terrible and then um, governor abiodu is doing nothing it, it, it looks like he doesn't exist they can't see anything that he's done and he's just giving stories ogun state they are tired of hearing stories they want him removed they, they don't they don't even believe that he exists there because if he's there like i said earlier on um, they would have felt the effect no security um they don't even have any form of security they've informed the police a couple of times and um nothing is still be done so uh, my people this is the um, news reaching us at the moment and um, we want you to lend your comment um, regarding what's going on in Ogun State the people they are really uh, uh, crying out at these hard times that the whole nation um, is going through um, they need a uh, um, 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 aid to be sent to them they are even calling out for uh, they prefer that the military should be sent out to to their town to be sent into the streets to be with them they prefer they feel like that's how they are going to be saved from this um, these attacks and uh, uh, the robberies and everything going on uh, amidst this um, lockdown. So uh, this is the news reaching us, and we're here to um, uh, keep you informed and uh, and well updated with all of the latest happenings in our country. We want to take this time to say thank you to everyone that have subscribed. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do um, click on the subscribe button down below and also click on the notification bell as it enables you to get updates of all of our latest news as they come in. We want to say thank you once again till I come your way again. Bye for now and